it's an exciting story. One, um, it is something that we were not necessarily pursuing. We didn't even have it in our minds to become Realty One Group uh, owners. Uh, I was at my desk one time and I received an invitation about some inf information. I deleted it. I thought, no, why, what, what is this all about? And then I received a text message following up that email and I didn't even read the text message. I deleted that. And then uh, after a week of these, of uh, more and more of these pursuits, I finally opened it up and I discovered that they were looking at our team in regards to what we were doing in the community. I refer to that as hyper-localization. We were a small real estate team at the time working um, uh, in the community, doing things that are natural, that everyone should be doing. Realty One Group recognized that there might be something there. So we, um, we prayed about it. We went down and met with the leadership. Uh, and went through the process and began to transform ourselves from being a small team to something much bigger. So once this became something that was a possibility for us to become owners and we both started praying and, and thinking about should this be something that we could do? Is it even really possible? It was really just scary for me, but. Are we worthy? You know, yeah. Are we, can we really do this? Is this the time? But in the end, it just worked out. And I'm glad that we took the leap and stepped forward and, and made the decision to do this because it's been um, a very fun experience. And I've um, had a lot of growth, personal growth through this. For me personally, um, how this took place was a direct result of a combination of both obedience and faith. You know, after we took some time to meditate and pray and, and consider this as something, as a possibility that we could do, knowing that we're getting into territory we have really no experience in, uh, but the, as the excitement grew and the possibility became more real, we decided to, yes, let's do this. We're going to do this together and we're going to see how far this can take us. Why? Because we have been given so much as a result from our original transfer to Realty One Group and the compensation and the growth that we've got. You know, it's not just so much the journey about becoming an owner. It's how it has changed us as people, as a couple and deepened our faith and deepened our ability to believe that we can do things now that were never thought possible before. People ask me all the time, why do you do this? Okay, that's the big question. What's your why? You know, is it this, that, and the other? It's not, it has to do with a cruise. It has to do with a Caribbean cruise. When we first made the switch from our traditional uh, split company, we're paying $23,000 a year. When we made the move to Realty One Group, the money that we saved, instead of paying the firm that we were at, we kept. We took our four children in 2015 on an amazing cruise and spent a large amount of money that we would have not otherwise have had. The gift of that compensation coming back to us, instead of spending it at the firm, gave our children and us a chance to grow as a family. And our children to this day cannot remember what they got for Christmas in 2015, but they remember that cruise and the memories. That is why I am an owner, and that is why I am so adamant about sharing the message of Realty One Group all over Snohomish County and beyond is because every family metaphorically needs a cruise in their life. So when we first opened our doors in December of 2019, we had a blank slate in this office. It was empty. There was no flooring. There were no awesome walls. <laughs> um, and we worked through it. We worked in the office while we were building it out. 
Um, so that was interesting, bringing people on. But the, and our immediate team <laughs> what, was what interesting. Think? Yeah, but the immediate brokers that came with us just knew and loved us, and so they were just here, and they were all in regardless of what their surroundings looked like, because they knew it was going to be amazing eventually. So, um, yeah, it was just a really fun experience starting up and going to classes and learning how to run a brokerage and just putting everything we had into it. We were able, at a certain point in our ownership development, we were looking at what are we going to name our franchise? Realty One Group Blank, our DBA, right? And so we had a little contest amongst our, ourselves and some of our peers that, okay, the person who ultimately comes up with the name that we can agree upon will win a gift card to Applebee's for a date night. And so we had this group text going on and we, have, we had things like, you know, legacy, champion, superior, advantage. And I'm like, boring, 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 boring. And then all of a sudden I typed in there in this group text, Orca. And people are like, what, what's on, why Orca? And everything is like that. And I'm like, well, I like it. I think it's going to work. And so it became Orca and Rochelle, you know, um, told me that, hey, you do know that's our state mammal. I thought that's great. You know, we're in store number 200 in our franchise system. And I'm like, wow, what a great, what a great opportunity to brand a store that is not only in Washington state, but have it as our, our DBA, as a um, image of Washington state, where Orca have pods in Puget Sound. So outside of just this area, others in our system and from around the world, because we're international now in 14 different countries, our franchise system is and we're continuing to grow they're going to recognize orca as a place to refer business to in the state of washington and throughout puget sound orca also has a lot to do with our one purpose our purpose here at our office of be you with us in family community and business orcas they live with pods they operate as families they live in communities. They help and serve one another. They identify each other as individuals as well within that pod. And they certainly know how to take care of business. So Realty One Group, is their colors are black and gold. And so we went with that and put it all together. Todd has a great vision. Cause I was looking at this triangular shape office and I'm like, how are we going to put offices in here? But he got it together and we painted and put it together and it works out great. The first year was something that I'll never forget. Working off of a conference table, a folding chair and a mobile, <laughs> my, uh, my mobile phone connected to my um, laptop. Um, the first year was absolutely amazing. It was an incredible experience. One that I look back on and I just think of gratitude and how grateful the opportunity, even though I was building the business and recruiting and interviewing from a conference table in a fold chair on a dirty floor, stuck in the corner with an inflated orca pool toy in the corner. That's where it started. And then the office built around that. And with every step, with every design, it was intentional to serve the community. It was intentional in serving the broker. It was about creating an environment that all are welcome, where community, and culture and fun all mixed together so we can have coaching, we can have learning, we can have support and growth and success for everyone uh, in community and with the brokers here at the firm. It's very collaborative. We have a very open floor plan. And as we continue this, we're gonna do that all throughout Snohomish County. How was this inspired originally? It was inspired by the International Hub in Laguna Beach, California, 
When we went down there, we were introduced uh, to Realty One and the leadership level. And these are the elements that were on display. And I'm like, whoa, I'm so dang inspired. I want to have that in Marysville. In Marysville, who would imagine an office like this could come and make a difference in community and make a difference in brokers' lives and ultimately the clients and the customers that they serve. With that, we have the One Cafe. The One Cafe is an area where brokers and community can come together and have food, and share thoughts and growth. And then we also have an area here in the office called the One Gallery. This is where local artists are able to donate wall art, their artistry. We'll display it on the wall. We have it for closing gifts or just a great piece that you can purchase and put in your home or give away for a birthday or Christmas gift, anniversary, whatever. The proceeds from that sale of that art from a local artist, those proceeds are donated directly to the food bank here in town. And so all throughout this office, it is designed with the intention to serve. Our office here in Marysville and eventually in the other spaces that we open, Everett, Snohomish, Snohomish County, <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> um, we are just all about community and people. So we want to make this a working space for brokers to come in and, and collaborate with one another. Um, a learning environment so we have training rooms and we're just going to keep growing and giving back. We also have a community room um, which we let nonprofits use for meetings which is really great or brokers to host home buyer classes and meetings and um, it's just really great space for the community. So we Realty One Group um, we are different from other brands because we help you, well, well, we have a lot of training and coaching and all that, but what the difference is, is we give the money back to you so that you can grow your business, you can grow your family. You don't have to work as hard if you don't want to because you will literally make the same amount of money doing less transactions. And in today's economy, maybe that might be helpful for you, but, um, we have more tools than a lot of companies. We have the extra bling with black and gold and all the culture and all the different designs and tech um, things that are free for you to use. So it's really amazing. Real estate brokers are not necessarily always looking for the least expensive real estate firm to join. Because if that was the case, all these more higher cap, expensive real estate firms, their doors and offices would be emptied, okay? So what are real estate brokers looking for? They're looking for a place they can feel like they have a family. Their brokers are looking for a place, a firm that they can be involved with community and give where you live. Brokers want to have an experience at a real estate firm okay that they are able to self-express themselves into their business and not try to be pretend to be anyone else except for themselves we're accepting of real estate brokers that are part-time full-time and all we ask here is that you play nice in our sandbox and not be a bad person and that's really all that we ask for and that's different from a lot of real estate companies and the Cherry on top of it all is our compensation. We have a straight compensation plan that gives the money back to the real estate broker instead of having to split it off and pay high fees. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but there is an option for real estate brokers to have be part of a family, be part of community, be part of a really successful structure and be compensated fairly and more reasonably like they have never experienced before. The six C's are who we are, okay? We have coaching, culture, care, connect, community, commission, <laughs> okay? And that is what, that is who we are. 
how we do that, okay, is golden. It's an acronym. Grow, own, love, determine, equality, and now. And so what that means in golden, to be golden, that's how we fulfill the six C's. This is what the six C's are what we are. How we do that is by being golden, by growth, growing. We're always growing. So why not grow and be better? Own, taking ownership, okay? Personal accountability, growing and having accountability and ownership together as a collective individual. Love, applying that to all aspects of what we do in care and in connecting and in community. D, determine, okay? We're gonna get kicked off our high horse sometimes. We're gonna fall off the bicycles in our real estate practices and in life. But it doesn't mean you need to stay there. We have support that'll help you with a hand, but at certain times, you're gonna to have to pick yourself up and be determined that you've got a direction that you wanna go. Equality, no one gets paid differently than anyone else. Part-time, full-time, no time, whatever. Long time in the business, everyone has an equal opportunity and they have the same pay rate regardless. And now is today. We never guaranteed for tomorrow. And so all we have is today to make something greater today in order to have that purpose fulfilled tomorrow. That's what it means to be golden. And if you apply that golden to those six C's, how can you not be successful? Adding to what Todd said, we want to empower real estate brokers to, to be able to do all these things. And we can do that through the 60s. We're empowering them to get more. So through commissions, community, culture, care, connect, all the 60s. And then being golden is, um, if somebody's getting out of their lane, <laughs> Todd and I have this thing, and now everyone has this thing. We're like, hey, be golden, okay? <laughs> it just reminds us to take the higher road and, you know, do the right thing. Our but. one purpose is opening up doors across the globe. One home, one dream, one life at a time. And you'll notice something here, you know, perhaps in our logo design. You know why that there's a little notch there on that end? If you look at that notch there on the end, you'll see a one. Do you see the one now in our one? Okay. It's because you matter. Everyone has a voice. Everyone matters. And that's where we come up with our firm's purpose statement. Our firm is, you know, we, we do come under the, the purpose of you know, opening up doors across the globe, one home, one dream, one life at a time. So important. When we come into this office, we've had an opportunity to develop and grow this community uh, with the branding and the support that we get from our franchise system is to be you with us in family, community, and business. As leaders, uh, of Realty One Group Orca. Every time that there's a decision that needs to be made or a policy that needs to be altered or modified, we run it through that filter. How is it gonna affect the broker? How is it gonna affect the family? How is it gonna affect community? How is it gonna affect business? If we can't find a positive answer in this new policy or this new adventure or this new something we're gonna start, it's not gonna work. We just won't do it. I'd say if you are looking for um, a real estate company or you're looking for a change or you're new to the industry and just come into our office, check us out. We are a fun, light-filled office and we just have a great energy about us because we care about people and we care about success. Every broker, in Snohomish County, okay? Every broker in Snohomish County has a place that they can call home here. Every broker in Snohomish County and outside the county, in King, 
and in Skagit, wherever else, but primarily in Snohomish County. There is a place here at Realty One Group Orca that you can call home, that you can feel that you can be who you want to be and you don't have to be anyone else. There's a place here in Snohomish County for every broker to earn more and not just to have more money, but it's what the money does for them. It's what the money can provide them in their homes, in their investments. But that's just part of it. It goes way beyond that. So I want to invite and have the opportunity to have a conversation with every single broker in Snohomish County to have this experience that I've had to go find your cruise. So one thing that I love about Realty One Group is their one manifesto. It really just hits me in the heart. I just love it so much. So I want to read it to you. You have one life to live, one chance to make it meaningful, and one opportunity to live with no regrets. Take risks, be bold, seize the day, and lead with respect. Your circumstances will change, people will change, you will change. Be open to it, embrace it, live it. Everyone matters and everyone has a voice. That's it. Thank you.